Surgical fires are a devastating event when they occur. In the operating room, all the ingredients of a fire are the fire triangle, which includes an ignition source or heat, fuel, as well as an oxidizer or oxygen are all present in an operating room. Surgical fires are considered never events by most safety organizations. And by never events, we mean they should never occur. And they should never occur because if proper steps are taken, they are completely preventable. The absolute key to fire prevention is education. The problem is that in an operating room setting, you have three different types of professionals. You have surgeons and doctors, you have nurses, and you have operating room technicians. Unfortunately, hospitals, while they take seriously the idea of fire prevention when it comes to their nurses or their operating room techs, and they regularly train them, they frequently ignore the role of the surgeon or the anesthesiologist in preventing fires in an operating room. And so oftentimes, two or three of the most important players in that operating room don't know how to prevent fires and don't know the steps to take and don't take them. And I'm speaking, of course, of the surgeon as well as the anesthesiologist.